Welcome to Pinoy Wheel, the place where you learn how to unleash your creativity and reach your true potential. I'm your host, Katrina Sevilla, and with me is my friend, professional beauty and fashion guru, Dara Plan of Beauty and Beyond. Hello, Dara. Hi, Katrina. Hello, everyone. Hi there. Oh, Dara, um, let me just... Uh, Promote your social media. Can you let us know all about it? Yes, I have my yes to all our viewers. I'd like to invite all of you to check out my YouTube channel. It is called Beauty and Beyond. So I feature different topics every day. And uh, please check it out and like and subscribe. If you have comments regarding what topics I can cover, I'd appreciate that, right? And also, Katrina, Pinoy Real, because we're collaborating and we're working hand in hand, right, Katrina? There you go. Yes, that's right. There you go. Pinoy Real and Beauty and Beyond. So don't forget, guys, okay? We have YouTube and Facebook. So go and check those channels. Okay, so um, today, napaka exciting. We have a very exciting topic today. I'm so eager to learn what we're going to um talk about or what dara is going to share with us so it's her expertise still fashion correct <laughs> yes katrina <laughs> no yes yes and oh before i uh, forget um i just want to tell our viewers to check out as well our uh, facebook group so it's called uh, let me see here it's called high achievers hold on for a sec Yes, I see that, Katrina. Yes. That's the Facebook group, ba? I was yes. wondering, sabi ko, is this Pinoy real? Pero... Yes, okay. it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is still hey, Pinoy Katrina, real. Hey, Katrina, I wanna... Oh, I want to compliment you pala, ha? So you are actually practicing what you've learned from our ano, session last week about hair. I love uh -huh. your hair today. Oh, well, thank you, you so much. You look beautiful. You look so fabulous. <laughs> but I learned from you, Dara. Talagang, yeah, I, I, I try to practice what I'm learning from you. Yes, look at that. Thank the you. Hair. The hair is everything. <laughs> well, see, it's a statement yes. piece talaga. It's, it's our crowning glory. Yes, yes, that's correct. Now, before we dive into our topics, you know, make sure to join our Facebook groups. It's called High Achiever Entrepreneurs and Mompreneurs by Pinoy Wheel. So that's where we're going to break down this episode throughout the week. So this group is for all aspiring entrepreneurs and also entrepreneurs who are doing already something. So go and check out that group where we all learn from each other. So it's also a place to collaborate. Okay? Great. You know what, Dara? Here's what I'm going to do. I will make sure to check first my Facebook uh, page. and. Um, Yes, share this link, share our video stream so everyone can watch. Okay, I'm seeing that it's, oh, there. Okay, just going to share it to make sure that everyone is updated on what's happening. And yes, to our viewers, right? They can they can comment below, right, on what's happening right now yes, while we're they live. Can. Katrina, yes, please join in and comment so that we know your uh, your insights regarding this topic for today. Yes, exactly. So that's what I'm going to do first. Okay. Just going to I'm just going to do it right now to make sure that okay, join now. Come on. We are live. Yeah, join now. But we'll all have fun and we'll all learn. And also, I'm sure you can share some stuff about, you know, how you also. Because our topic for today is about choosing the right clothes for you. So I'm sure there are a lot of fashionista women out there, you know. The pandemic doesn't limit them from looking good, even if they're at home or during their virtual meetings, just like us, Katrina. So maybe they can share as we're sharing something about the topic and then they can give comments and all that stuff and we can answer them because it's more fun it's a more interactive show exactly that's true so go ahead and check out now our live and feel free to drop your questions or suggestions in the comment box we can 
definitely give you a shout out as well on the screen. We can show that up for everyone to see. All right, so I'm now starting to share it to my uh, to, to some of the groups that I'm uh, connected uh, in. So let's see. And you know what's nice about this too is we're reaching the entire world, right? True, we are worldwide, nah. Yeah, worldwide. So to also all our Filipinos, kababayans there, welcome to Pinoy Real. There. And again, to our viewers, ha, dumadami yung viewership natin. <laughs> yes. yes, dumadami. So we want to thank everyone for sticking with us all the way from in the first video that we started out. That's the launching of how to to look and act like an elegant and classy or high caliber woman. By the way, I want to share to all of our viewers, we are doing series. So we started out with the first ever video. And then from there, we thought, why not we do, we, we dig into each one, each one of them. And so we came up with skincare um, routine and the hairstyling and makeup essentials, from brushes to makeup products. We also did makeup for day and evening last, that was last week. And the day we, uh, yeah, prior to that, we also had hair styling. And today, this episode, we are talking about clothing, which is according, you are the best clothes for your body type. So that's very interesting, diba, Dara? Oh oh yeah, kasi you know with our topic for today, kasi ba ang hirap mag-shopping pag hindi mo ta al talaga alam kung ano yung bagay sa iyo. Parang when you're there on the store's floor, you don't know and then there's so many clothes, you want everything, pero not all will be bagay to you, right? So you don't know, you don't want to waste your money. You want you don't want to invest on something that you won't wear. Sometimes you'll buy it, it looks nice, and then when you get home, you try it on and you you say, ah, sayang, parang I can't use it, diba? So, sayang lang. So, you know, these days, you have to be practical. Exactly, Dara. Um, like, especially for me, before, I was easily so attracted with just the colors and the trends. And, of course, the price. So, I was looking also at a very cheap price clothes and, uh, well, I regret at the end. But anyway, now I've learned a lot about how to choose the right clothes for me and it's all worth it mm -hmm. it's an investment not just for for ourselves but for our career as well we can find great careers from choosing the right clothes so mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. i hope you guys can learn from this episode talaga and let us know if you have any questions drop it down in the comment box and we'll be happy uh, of course we have dara here to you know let us know how the best possible way to enhance our appearance with wearing the right clothes, Diva. Yes. Okay. All right. Just let me know when we can start, yes. Katrina. Huh? Oh, yes. That's true. All right. Can, so, for do, you, me, do you have. Yeah, go ahead. Do you already have an idea? Like, if we already have viewers or. Oh, yes. We have already a viewer. Uh, can you say hi? Hello there. <laughs> if you're watching hi. right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Drop your message. I remember Agnes who was giving so much <laughs> comments before, right? Yes, yeah. Agnes. Um, yeah, I hope she, she can was come. very active. She is so mm -hmm. active uh, on social media. Yeah, and Agnes, if you're watching, we are missing you. <laughs> we missed you, Agnes. And also your friend, uh, uh, Dara, can you give her a shout out? Oh, yes, to Chris Ong. Hello. Yeah, she's one of our... Uh, active viewers she was my student before and turned into a really good friend and she's always supporting us both pinoy real and beauty and beyond you know she's always watching us live because i sent her the link and then she always gives me a reply i've seen the live streaming so i'm just so happy for both of us katrina so thank you again chris and to all our viewers for uh continuously supporting us and for being there Yes. That's why we're here to give you what you like. So again, please comment so that we know what topics we can talk about in the future. In the future, that's right. Oh, thank you so much, Chris, uh, for your support, for being a valued viewer to Pinoy Will and Beauty and Beyond. 
Okay, so let's dive into our topic na. Okay, I got a question for Oh, sige. Why do we sige, need go, to learn? Katrina. Why do we need to learn how to choose the right clothes for us? Diba? So I think that's all the reason why we, why are we doing this? And for me it's like very simple, like we all agree that right clothing can really pull up any looks, you know, pull up our our looks to the next level, right? And I, I believe everyone agrees to that. Yeah, Dara? Ako, so, I agree. Yes, I agree with you. I agree with you. It's very important. You know, if you ask that question, my question again is, why do we really dress up? I mean, do we dress up to please people? That's my concern. And also, do we dress up for ourselves? I think the most important thing to remember here, Katrina, is number one, we have to dress up for ourselves and not for other people. <laughs> All right? That's just secondary or, you know, because if, you know, if you dress up for yourself, you're creating your own image by projecting your personality. That is you. The way you dress up really shows people what kind of person you are. It is what, you know, how we dress up. It's mm -hmm. our own window display. That's mm -hmm. how, if you look if you look interesting, then people will find a way to get to know you, right? That's why there's the saying that you have to dress up for the job that you want and not the job that you have, right? That's very important. Part of that saying that you have to fake it before you make it. That's very interesting, Dara. So you're like saying that we dress up for ourselves, for us, not because of what our friends or what our boss like us to, to look outside. Is that right? Yes, because... Yes, it's yeah, yeah, that's right. Because we have to please ourselves first before I we please others. Because if we're not happy with the way we dress, then how can we exude that happiness to others as well? That's how I see things. Yeah. You know, let me share this experience with you. Okay, um, okay, uh years ago when Cause you know it's hard it's hard for me to get dates here in this country because uh, I think they are intimidated just like what you said because of the way I dress okay all right so one time okay eto na, eto na. my boss oh. said my boss in in this salon I used to work in said hey I want you to meet this single man he's really nice and I think you guys will hit it off so I'm like Okay. okay. And during that time, I think I was just wearing jeans and like a simple uh -huh. blouse or something. So we had like coffee after lunch with my boss. So it, it was just, it wasn't just like a spontaneous uh, meeting with the man that I don't know, but it's with my boss because she was the one who introduced us to each other. So I met him and everything went well, you know, the usual casual coffee and then meeting and stuff like that. Okay. And then, Eto na. <laughs> when we parted ways, I think in less than 30 minutes, Katrina, my boss called me up and said, Hey, Dara, we all had a great time with you. Thank you for giving time to us. Ganyan, ganyan. And then, all right, she goes, Oh, but you know, you know, when there is a but, you know, that there's something. Yeah. <laughs> right? There is, of course. But my but, my kasunod I said, okay, so, uh, okay. May kasunod na something. I'm like, oh, sige, uh, yes, what, the, what is it? And then she goes, you know, you know, kasi, you know, we had a bad experience with dating blonde women. You know, <gasps> the ex-girlfriend kasi wrecked his car. Parang got a bat and then tried to do something with his BMW. I'm oh, like, no. oh, but isn't he generalizing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that blonde girl. I'm a different person. And, you know, I'm not like uh, the legit blonde. I just color my hair blonde. Because <laughs> how can you generalize people, right? And for him to say that, and it's like, okay, so my boss segued into, you know, baka you can change your hair color and then you can date again. I'm, I said, you know, I'll think about it. Because for me, if you're going to change the way I look, that's something else. It's not me. 
right? Mm-hmm. You're not exactly. even my boyfriend. You're not even my husband. And then you're already asking me to change my hair color. Naku, ang dami niyan. Why don't you change your hair color into, oh, yeah. you know, brunette or something? Like, I'm not, but, yeah, but I'm not happy with it. Plus, what if I want yeah. to go back to blonde? I have to go through several process to go back to that blonde color. So I'm just gonna right. further damage my hair. And, you know, I'm happy with the way I look. So exactly. why should I follow you? And not just that. <laughs> bagay. Bagay yeah, so, sa yung look na yun. It, it works perfectly, right? In your overall appearance. So why not change it, correct? Yes, yes. why would I change for someone, right? It's important. The bottom yes. line is you have to love yourself first. So, you so know, in that manner, that person can't accept me for just my simple hair color. They're, what's the point, right? So, it's the same way yeah. as it's dressing. And then yeah. they'll say, oh, you're always nakakaftan. Another one. <laughs> Bakit hindi ka mag-jeans? I'm like, oh, ang dami namang nagdidictate. Ano ba yan? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, when you when you mentioned earlier that you were wearing <laughs> that you were wearing jeans when you were you dating that guy that was introduced to you. So or at that time were you yes, like yes. still were you still like plain a plain Jane or you were you already into you know uh, uh another you know uh, your look what your your look now? Uh well. I wasn't a plain Jane, but I was wearing jeans and something more comfortable with, I okay. think, better, you know, more, uh, how do you call this, elegant tops. Because I was working okay. in the salon. So I cannot wear this. Because when I enter the material, oh, yes. I'm yung may-ari ng salon. Yes, yes. <laughs> yung CEO. Right? Yung CEO I started mismo wearing yung co- coats like, like oh, di ba? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, sabihin, ikaw ba yung may-ari? <laughs> That's so yes. funny. And my boss on my chair. Wait, Dara, pwede mag-dress down ka naman, di ba? And up. then they might not ask me to do their hair anymore kasi I'm so, yeah, I'm too dressed for the part. But I started dressing like this naman. Okay, I have two reasons. One kasi is I started teaching more than doing clients. And then uh, most of the time, I would be having events. So after my class, I would just run to the event, whether it's Rustans and all. So I'm already dressed up. I don't need to change anymore. So that happened pre-pandemic days for like more than 10 years. And what's nice about wearing caftans is it's so comfortable, so classy, and so elegant. Now, you know, nah, and exactly. lalo pa now, it's now like the selfie generation you, and the photo right. generation. If they ask, you know, pictures to be taken with me and all, I'm already picture ready, photo ready. Exactly. You're always photo ready. So ever that's since the I, reason. Yeah, ever since I uh, I saw you, the first time I saw you was in the church in New Life. And that was already like, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that was around 2009, I believe, 2010. I'm not sure. Quiet. But you were already in yes because planning. I started going to New Life two thousand seven mm-hmm. oh, yeah yeah because it was, was an in... accidental discovery lang mm-hmm. yeah I was also yeah. intimidated to be honest at first but only in twenty eleven can you guys can you see how many years I finally got to talk and approach her that was like after three or four years of attending only because you organized you were actually the speaker of one of the workshops organized by the church so i finally got to talk with uh, dara and really approach her about makeup schools and stuff like that and she's really nice so. Gabe, thank you <laughs> Gabe, that's how long it took you to build the courage to talk to me katrina <laughs> yeah oh, grabe. Grabe but you know <laughs> My my experience naman is totally or was totally opposite. If you were kind of okay. like the, the you know the person who is always dressing up, ako naman yung nasa mm-hmm. dressing down side. That was before back in the Philippines when mm-hmm. I was working in the bis- in the BPO business process outsourcing. So they're in the call center mm-hmm. because uh, there's no uh uh you know how do you call not uniform but no specific clothes that you can wear so you can just wear casual clothes and only few times that you have Mm -hmm. to wear formal when there's a client visit and most of the time i just wear a normal shirt and jeans and you know what 
what, what, what's uh, really interesting, and it bothered me because my colleague, one of my colleagues told me, Hey, Katrina, bumili ka naman ng, ano, ng bagong damit. It's, you're always wearing the same clothes. We all, we're, we're all earning naman the same. So we're all earning good. Why don't you just go out and shop for yourself? And at that time, I was really, uh, how do you call it, um, more minimalist, kind of like always, I, I just saved my money. I was just saving, saving, and I don't really shop a lot mm-hmm. because I felt that, okay, uh, you know, it's a hard-earned money. But also, uh, for me, uh, I'm there's nothing mm-hmm. wrong naman into savings, but at the same time, make sure to also elevate yourself. That's what I learned from it. You know, try to, you know, love yourself, treat yourself with great, uh, clothes that is right for you. I think that's very important. Not just any clothes, but the clo- uh, you know something that's right for your body and that enhances your looks. And yeah, but that's something I learned. So investing in the right clothes and that I didn't do before. I didn't know anything about this before. And uh, only later on in my life, in my life that I learned. Okay, more and more, it's important to enhance our looks. And yeah, that was my story, Dara. So you see this little bit of yeah differences in how we look into yeah lives and how we how we do At things. Least. But we are learning. That's the the good thing. Yeah. So yeah, Katrina, thank you for sharing that. It means a lot because it only shows that age is definitely making all of us wiser. Oh yeah. Right? Yes. Because, you know, what I've noticed through our lives, we go into different season, right? So this is part of our season also dressing up. Like how you dress up in your 20s is different in how you dress up in your 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Because our ch- body changes also, Katrina, so we also have to consider that. And our yes. feelings also change, right? Sometimes as you get older, you like um, comfort more than um, the way you look. Yeah. But for me, even in old age, I will balance it. Eh. It's <laughs> comfort and the look also. Yes. Yes. I cannot just go for comfort because I don't want to look like you know, no offense, but I don't want to look like an old, old woman, you know. Yeah. I still want to look, you know, young and fresh, yes. even in my old age. Yes. I don't want to look my age. Yes. Kumbaga. Right. And is that so, yeah. classical look, Dara, that we are trying to achieve? Yung hindi na luluma, na luma, yes, yes. Not, uh, like, not to the point of oh, para oh, Queen Elizabeth. Wag naman ganun. Yung para Queen Elizabeth na, na aura. Oh, yeah. I mean, not that super kind of oh, professional oh. parang royalty look, but at least something that's uh, hindi naman super oh. yeah, outdated. Di ba? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for yeah. sharing that, Katrina. So we can, I uh, know, like I have, I have some pictures, right, that I had sent yes. you. Yes. Oh right? yes. So we're gonna start with that. Again, going back to fashion and uh, dressing up, the important thing to remember here is you have to choose clothes that suit your, ito na yon, your body type. Iba iba kasi tayo ng body type. So, yes. meron kami mga pictures that I sent. So, let me just mention them and then I'll discuss further. So, we have the, the bigger top, yung lollipop body type. We also have the column, butter, uh, column body type. We also have the inverted triangle body type. And then, we also have the big all-over body type. And then, we also have the hourglass body type. So, iba-iba yung body types na yan. So, pag iba-iba yung body types, kailangan iba-iba din yung clothes na bagay sa inyo. Again, just like hairstyles and haircuts, the important thing to remember here is you have to create balance on the on your body. So, kunyari, let's just give you an example. Uh, can we show the pictures now, Katrina? Yes. Right, I have here uh, a photo. And then I'll give, on the then may game uli. Oo, may yes. game uli tayo, tayong dalawa. Yes, <laughs> yes go, go. Uh, the, the one, 
Ay, on the photo pala, on the screen. Ay, hindi ko pala makita. I will check my oh, yeah. monitor. Oh, yeah, oh, sure. I will check my monitor. Hindi ko nga pala makita dyan. Oo nga, take Pasensya your time. Pasensya na. No problem, okay. take your time. So, oh, what we have you on make, this You make kwento muna. Kwento muna. Alright, so, um, just want to say hello to all our viewers. Can you say hi there? Uh, let, let, let us know where you are watching from now. Uh, it would be nice. Hello to all our viewers. Can you say hi there? Uh, let, let, let us know where you are watching from now. Oh, there. <laughs> I ah, think okay. you're yeah, my I voice see it now, now Katrina. Okay. Go oh, no, sorry. I, I, I have to lower the volume. So this is the bell body type. Uh, yeah. Um, the bell body type. Okay, right. so ano yung characteristics nitong bell body type? So this one, yung lower bottom niya yung ano, yung malaki. Okay, so he's he she's heavy here on the tush area, the lower limbs yeah. area. Ang problem naman niya is like her shoulders is ano, medyo maliit, hindi siya balance eh. Yeah. So, yung width nitong shoulders and the bottom is not the same. Yeah. So, what is the solution for this body type? Again, we have to balance. So, you have to choose clothing for this particular body type na. Okay, please don't go for, if you're gonna choose mga jeans, don't go for the skinny type jeans. Kasi that's, it's going to enhance further the heaviness of your bottom part. Again, the key is balance. So, she has to choose yung mga, ano, medyo flare type or, uh, yeah, the flare type ones na okay. cut, no? I think we have Later examples on, also there. Yes. Right. We have some examples. Later on, we're gonna show uh, those pictures. Uh, Alright? But for now, uh, I'm right. gonna so again, move on to another one, the body type, uh, which is hourglass. Okay, yes, the hourglass, okay. Kung sa face shape, di ba, ang perfect is the oval. For the body type naman, the perfect uh, body type is the hourglass. Kasi it's balanced all over eh. So the width of the shoulders and the bottom part is almost the same. Tapos yung waistline niya, ang ganda. Super, ano, super liit. Ito yung tinatawag na nung, nung panahon natin is yung Coca-Cola body type. Yeah, right, right. Right? Yeah, so ito yung ideal body type. So she can get away with any particular clothing material. Now, if her only concern is kasi yung iba, ano, concern nila is petite sila. Petite looking. So they want to look longer. So the only way to do that is to create um, or to use clothes na monochromatic. Let's say one color lang. Black is to black. So, black top, black lower part. And then, yung pinaka inside, for instance, is a different color. And then, she can also wear yung mga spin stripes because it also has elongating effect. And again, the jeans, please stay away from mga skinny jeans. Again, although her body na is perfect, but still, if you are into focusing on looking slimmer and longer, go for the flare ones. The flare, okay. jeans. flare jeans. And then for Sorry. women, ito important to, di ba? Have you noticed? Kasi before na uso yung low cut or low, ano ba yung low waist jeans? Yes. Alam mo yes. yung pinaka problem ko doon, Katrina, pinaka hate ko. Like if you have muffin top, yung parang yeah. konting ano, yung syempre the, prob the problem area of women is sa may abs, di ba? Yung, they call it the puson. Yes. So when you sit down, the girl roll siya. So it's yeah. so pangit. I hate that. Yeah. So you know, I've realized. So eto, I discovered these jeans I saw in Debenhams. The name of the store is Debenhams mm -hmm. here. I'm sure you have it there also in Europe. I heard that. Yeah. Ang ganda ng flare. Oh, oh, ang ganda ng flare jeans nila for women. Tapos may tosh also para nagkaroon ng konting laman. So, eh, tamang-tama. They were on sale. So, I hoarded. My God, I bought four <laughs> pairs. <laughs> oh, wow. Hindi ka masyado nag-sport. That was like more, Yeah. Oh, hindi masyado nag -word. That was like more than 10 years ago. Buti ka siya pa sa akin. So, I'm still wearing them now. And you know who really inspired me with wearing those jeans? And she makes sense. This celebrity style is named Rach Rachel Zoe. I'm sure you've yeah, heard yeah. of her. Yeah, yeah. Yes, she used yes. to have this... Yes. She used to have this... Uh, 
parang reality TV show about her life and what she do- she does around the clock, how she dresses up celebrities and chooses clothes for them. She never wears those mga skinny jeans and she's always wearing those flare jeans kasi nga, it, it has an elongating effect. And also, yeah. now, she's into kaftans also. I see oh, her. Oh, wow. So, okay. there. Nakaka, yeah. nakaka, ang lakas, nakapag, okay, so, nakapag-social ng kaftan na yan, ha? Parang nakaka, nakaka-social. Oh, kasi ang also... <laughs> Yeah. Pero alam mo also, alam mo pag when you once try work ano, we're using this, you say I don't want to I don't want to choose other clothes anymore kasi ito yung clothes na practical. I don't even have to think of what to wear. I just get them in the closet. Tapos people won't notice whether you gained weight, lost weight, whatever. <laughs> kasi yeah. it hides everything, exactly. diba? And it gives That's you true. this Elegance, and when people see you, they respect you right away. I mean, yes. you don't even have to open your mouth, and the respect is already there. Yeah. So they open doors for you, agad. Parang five star service, agad. Pag nakikita kan ng mga crews or any people na giving <laughs> you services, di ba? Okay, that's a good idea, right? So viewers, uh, oh, you yeah, know that, yeah. how to upgrade our experience, customer experience. Just wear the right clothes, and there, voila, you got the right service na agad. All right, so speaking with jeans naman. Yeah, you oh, and you have to wear it imagine. also with confidence, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. With confidence. With definitely. jeans, I do, I do. Yeah, uh, you mentioned earlier about I wear jeans. them a lot pag when I go abroad because Oh, flare jeans. Okay. Sayang, wala akong picture. Pero yes. may photo tayo may photo. later. I'll, yes. ano, I'll show. We will, sh- we will definitely show that. Feature the other that. body types, Katrina. Wait lang, uh, Dara. I do have mm-hmm. a question. Kasi like for me as a mom, you said earlier, okay, uh, mm-hmm. avoid avoid jeans that are uh, lower cut, diba? low cut waist. So, uh, what do you prefer? Just yes. mid uh, waist or high waist? I think more and nowadays I see a lot of high waist jeans uh, hitting on the stores and are they're, they're really on trends and it looks to me like it gives that nice uh, illusion of hourglass look. So what do you think about, for example? For yes. Me, yeah. I highly suggest that I wear high high waisted jeans also because it also creates a more lengthening look on you, especially if you tuck in your top, whether it's a shirt. Or okay. a blouse, it gives you a more elongating look. So it creates an illusion that you look taller and slimmer, also, Katrina. Yes. Yeah, not and to it, mention... ano, it, it hides everything. Yeah, that's the, why the bill, bill, the whatever. It, yeah. it just compacts okay, your bill, bill. Tip that... Yes, yeah, you, you and it makes you feel sexy, na, diba? It's an. Okay. <laughs> It's an yeah. instant, ano eh, uh, how do you call this, uh, parang bill bill trimmer or whatever, yes. it disappears just like magic. It's a quick fix, okay, to look great. Oh, uh, it's, yes. a, it's a quick you fix, feel good. yes. <laughs> and another thing, oh, oh, you feel good, diba? And you, you yeah. feel like you're slim, sexy, and it changes your entire feeling altogether. So you, when you step out of the house, it gives you this who i can conquer the world feeling right you feel like a queen yeah right in addition to that katrina yeah yes and i want to share something this is important which a lot of women might take for granted it's that feeling remember i'm connecting it to that again because uh the undergarments, okay, I think secret. Yung undergarments mo have to be nice. Because if you have nice undergarments, like nice uh, bras, panties, oh, yeah. besides them being matching, it should also be the perfect fit for you. Because when those, when you wear under undergarments like that, and ito pa, important, wearing Spanx. Nako, Spanx <laughs> is also the key. The Are you promoting much, Spanx? Ay, nako, so uncomfortable, ang init, mm-hmm. and blah, blah, blah. All right. Yes. Uh, no, I'm not. Huh? No, I'm just, <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just. I'm just. Uh, I'm, yeah. 
say confident feeling yes. that mm-hmm. that we're all looking around but there are other other uh, brands. other there are other brands as well there are so many brands there are other yes. but it's something that holds oh, oh yes. it holds everything together i'm not saying that you wear it every day but there are certain outfits which may require you to wear to wear you know those undergarments special undergarments to hold everything together and so that everything falls into place everything looks perfect and smooth katrina that's also the trick of many uh, celebrities you know they're wearing great under uh, undergarments that's why their body look look perfect on camera on photos Mm -hmm. you know so great brass great uh undergarment uh just like Spanx one of uh, one of the brands yes even I know even Kim Kardashian yeah yes yeah Mm -hmm. right I saw videos of Kim Kardashian actually wearing different uh undergarments including Spanx so and Spanx also by the way is and you know she got so yeah she 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 became rich of that company huh it's a woman what was the name again of that uh, woman who founded spanx i uh, forgot it's her something it it, it's blake something yeah she has something an incredible I, I, story. I saw her class i yeah it's it's a nice story it's very inspiring yes yeah. how she came it up uh came up with that product but anyway uh we let's move forward to the next body type which is extra curvy slash yes. plus size women yes yeah so extra curvy and plus size women at all okay uh it's again balanced no so ito yung problem areas niya is almost all over so the key to this is okay my tip is for instance for the tops what she has to use or choose is those v neck so that it creates more uh, lengthening or elongating look it creates a longer neck also and then choose fabrics that are kind of stiff right okay so that you know when she stands up or sits down it camouflages um things that she doesn't want to be seen Mm -hmm. right more more and then again more, more structured more structured clothes. clothes it looks like okay clothes yes 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 okay. and for the bottom again use the flare jeans or flare flare mm-hmm. trousers anything that's kind of flary to again create a more elongating look and you know those close uh close shoes important yan ha? yung pointy shoes important yan meron din siya kasing elongating factor when you look at yourself in the mirror and you're wearing them you look taller you look leaner yeah you look more put together oh so that's the trick there pointed closed shoes that creates also elongated yeah that's pointed closed shoes Minsan lang medyo masakit sa paa, but you have to try different brands because some of them naman are still comfortable even if they look very fashionable yes yes right. okay so that's noted and next is uh, extra uh, sorry we have column body type column okay so column body type is this to straight okay this is the i know the fashion models body type yeah this is the type of body who walks down the runway. So this one naman, oh, oh, ito, diba? It's, yeah. okay, the characteristic of this naman is, uh, it's it's like it's shapeless. It's like a column. And then yeah, the waistline really call it. is it's parang the same as the width of the shoulders and, and the hips. Oh, a column talaga, walang shape. Column talaga siya. So you have to create naman an illusion na meron siyang waist. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. column talaga siya. So, kailangan mag-recreate ka ng way. So, if you if yeah. you choose mga clothes, you have to cr- choose clothes that are more clingy to the body to show. And then, important yung to wear a belt that cinches the right. waist. Para ah, to show okay. na meron siyang waistline. Hindi siya nawawala. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, yung belt naman, is that also applicable to other like body types? Like, 
let's say apple shape. Ah uh, yes, uh, uh, applicable all. Kahit. All right, kahit na apple. <laughs> well, I'm giving always apple shape because I feel like I'm an apple it's shape. It's applicable <laughs> to all of them, but more if she chooses an outfit. Oh, uh, oh uh, yes. All right. Okay. Great, great. So I, I hope you're learning, guys. I'm learning. Actually, I, I was gonna ask you. That was yeah. I was gonna ask you to identify think your body type is oh, from, yeah. from the ano uh, because you can find out your body type if you look at yourself in the mirror naked or you can take measurements by the ano uh, yung right. tape measurement. Right. So those are the two ways to know your body type. But sige, mm -hmm. can you give me a clue? Can can you guess, Katrina, what your All body right. type is? Okay. So first, I was checking at Hourglass. No, just kidding. Well, with Hourglass, definitely no. I don't have that body type. Um, when I was younger, well, yeah. when I was younger, you know, though, uh, I think I was column. Really, uh, when I was around 12 years old. But I think the best, okay, the best age mm -mm -mm. you have to ch check your body type is when you start, like for women, when you start having your 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 bust bust growing, so that's probably eighteen years. You, you should start considering already and knowing your body type because that's the oh, perfect time yes. to build your yeah your look and your brand or I mean your identity. If I would have known these things, I would have you know checked it right away when I was eighteen. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, now I believe I'm more into apple shape now, so. But that being said, huh, I'm still working on to 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 have that hourglass uh, body. So yes, I think huh, I have a little. Parang when you. Madali when lang yung Katrina, mirror, huh? Oh yeah, there is a remedy, di ba? Mm -hmm. There is a remedy nga with making daya here and there mm -hmm. with the clothes, and also of course more mm -hmm. on exercise and diet as pa den, di ba? Healthy lifestyle. So that's what we are pushing on to. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes. Yes. So what so is what your body you think, type, uh, Katrina? Can you, can you? I was saying, yeah, yeah apple. Can yes, you... I go apple. Uh, that, that's how I think. I have an apple okay. shape. But yes. But it's not that I'm really apple now, okay? I'm, I'm still in my, I don't know. I just, yeah. <laughs> I just think that I'm, yeah. I can have the tendency to become up, apple. I'm not apple right now, but I have the tendency that if I continue eating, because here's the thing, with body shapes, it's more genetics, all right? So, uh, right? Is, is Am I correct? Yes, here? genetic plays a big yes. factor. Yeah, and yes. you look around your family members, you know, your, your mother, your your aunts, your, your grandmother. I mean, wh how, how they look like now in terms of body shapes. So most likely you will also look like them when you you can predict your future you, already you can't, you can't predict your future so basically well, but, but there are ways yes. to actually kind of you know go in the other way if we have that build that healthy lifestyle and so for me if i continue like eating eating i would go into that direction being an apple shape and i'm not saying it's wrong okay i'm not here to say that's very wrong that's not a good shape but i'm just and there is a remedy for that but i will work hard to have that you know good uh, lifestyle and have a better shape at the end okay yes yes all right thank you for sharing katrina okay me i'll just share yes. like a bit lang ha my naman when i was younger i thought i was you know yung hourglass now i'm more of the i've noticed now i'm more aware because during that time naman wala tayong guide right we didn't even yeah. know that, and this wasn't even published. But now, you know, information is just everywhere. It's easy for us to access these types of information. So I fall under the inverted triangle. So this one is bigger, the top, than the bottom. Yeah. So there, at least I'm also more aware, so I know also yes. what clothes to choose, no? Yes. Right. Were you into... So do you have other photos, Katrina, oh, yeah. of the different... Oh, yes. Uh, what's next here? Oh, this one is lollipop. Lollipop body type. Okay. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. This one is, okay. She has, a, uh, she is blessed with a bigger bosom. Oh. The boobs. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So Husky. here is you have to distract the eye. So you uh, so you have to choose clothes that won't really focus on her boobs. Because mm -hmm. you know you know I, I don't want to generalize. But, you know, when we see someone with really huge boobs, the tendency is we look at our eyes are already I know, focused there, whether it's a man or a woman. So just to distract the eyes so she has to cover up, especially during the day at work, if she'll go to the office, yeah. you know, she can't really wear clothes that are too fitting. Kailangan may konting layering, right? Okay. Para hindi ma-focus yon. And then to balance someone for the bottom half, half again okay so use again yung mga flare jeans and then we'll show you pictures later of the yes. skirts that suits that particular body type katrina right okay do we have I'll other photos it. no it's it's finished now what i'm gonna do is i will share or show to our viewers the photos that we have so that they know when or how to resolve different body types. all right just... and then probably i can i can also okay before i jump into the our different style quotient okay right do you see what's on the screen our now style there? personality yes okay yes oh yes oh, this oh. is an example mm -hmm. of the column body type yes this is what she mm -hmm. can wear a sample of what you can wear for work so you see, the jacket that she chose is the one that emphasizes her waistline oh, yeah. to create an illusion that she has an hourglass figure. Yeah. Diba? So parang, parang galing, this kind no? of flare. It's, a, it's like a flared uh, blouse. Like a flared blouse which emphasizes the waistline. Yes, line. it's like a flared... It's not a Jesus. The waistline. Right? Yeah. yeah the and it yeah. only falls... Uh-uh. Oh, oh. Yeah, and then she's mm -hmm. wearing this, what they call the trumpet skirt. Oh, yeah. So parang it creates an illusion that, you know, may shape din yung lower part, even everything straight. Mm -hmm. So it really creates that illusion of an hourglass pattern. Yeah. So when you look at her, the first thing that you see is, oh, ang sexy naman neto. Yeah, ang, ganda, ang, liit ng, ang liit ng waist. Diba yun yung parati na sinasabi? Ang liit naman ng waist mo is that 22, 21, or 23. How I wish I can go yung back to those Yung parang ganon. They can do this one. <laughs> they can do, like, Thalia. <laughs> Remember her? Yeah, so, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, si Talia. Yeah, I remember. Yes. Si Marimar. Marimar. And, and Rosalinda. Rosalinda. <laughs> I remember yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. We all grew up with those. Oh, I used to watch shows. that. I went Gaga oh, yeah. over that. <laughs> so that. That was like the standard. Just and you the know that guy, I remember. Jose, what was the name? Jose oh, Mar oh. Mario. Something Fernando like Jose, Fernando. I, saw, okay. I saw him in person. I know. OMG. Katrina, Where? I saw Fernando Jose in person. I was sitting beside him. I was having, I think, lunch or dinner in Peninsula with my oh. friend. And then all of a sudden, when I looked to my left or right, I said, Oh my God, this man looks so familiar. And then and that I said, was oh him. my God, it's Fernando Jose. And then I asked the waiter, is this the guy from... I opo, ma'am, kasi nagsushoot sila dito. I'm like, oh my God. But he was oh, here with his wife. Oh, so okay. see. He still looks good. And this was like, I think, more than five years ago. Oh, just Fernando five years Jose. ago. <laughs> okay, wow. Yeah, talaga five naman. years or more, yeah. Ang guapo, ang guapo talaga. talaga. Wala akong masabi. <laughs> okay, so let's oh, go on oh. to the next photo. Tadan, it's uh, is it super, super uh, plus size, I believe. Yeah, this is or the super plus size, the super curvy. So look at her clothes; it's more structured, so that you don't show the different debuff when you're extra curvy. You mga rolls, which you think na. You know, it's disturbing to the eyes and you're conscious about that. Some people are, you know, they feel that way. Yeah. So, these are the best outfits for the curvy. And look at her, ano, look, look at her pants. It's not a flare. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Right? So, it balances everything. And you can also, like this one, you, if, 
let's say your bot choose ano darker colors for your bottom for your trousers mm -hmm. or for your skirts to create an illusion again of slimness mm -hmm. right okay. if you wear darker bottoms if you have a problem area with your bottom part all right so and then again that... to balance what she did is Yes, so so like oh, when you wear me? when you wear like darker clothes or uh, uh darker jeans or dot don't uh darker yes pants it actually camouflages right the your yes your, camouflages yeah. whatever you need to cover if you yes. feel that you know you want to slim down use darker shades yes otherwise if you're wearing like white or pink it's kind of accentuating that part yeah it's, it's yeah it makes you look wider okay got it all right next yeah. one you want to look slim darker shades mm -mm. next is hold on that's uh we have okay i think that's it i will move oh there's another one here yes this one oh this my take on the essentials of what every woman would like to have in their closet oh, yeah. it's like the wardrobe the essential pieces that you need yeah. so that you know whenever you need to do something go somewhere you don't have to you know uh think of getting it in the store you can just mix and match it readily okay so i won't yeah. read them anymore please just uh take note of that so that you know what i'm gonna do you can have yeah, a checklist not... for our viewers yes yes uh, what i'm gonna do is i will post this on the page on our page you know real page and the facebook group oh yes yes so it's a brilliant idea this. yes yes so mm -hmm. you can uh you can get a copy of that okay so we have one more photo here to show uh it's so actually working clothes for all right not sure though what one type is this that's a uh, oh that okay this is for yeah. the uh, no no this is for the heavy ball uh, for the boobs the one with the bigger or uh -huh. bigger boobs so if you oh. notice uh she covers her boobs because it, it's kind of distracting if you look at it mm -hmm. right it's the first thing that calls your attention so for work especially for work in the corporate world she used a blazer again with a v-line neckline I mean to still elongate no the neck area and then for the for the bottom part she's using this skirt na parang medyo nag flare it's called a line a line skirt no? diba and dami kasing skirts na available for women eh so you know yeah. if you break it down there are different styles again for your body type so for her it's the a line and then for ano naman for like the casual look again look at her top it's parang uh, medyo stiff din. And uh, I know it, it has parang designs, eh, but it's just not visible here. And then again, her boobs are also parang, it's uh, still covered, right? So that you don't yeah, focus yeah, on, yeah. on them. And the jeans again are flared. Okay. And look at the color of, the, of what she's wearing. It's monochromatic, right? Because again, it gives mm -hmm. you a more slimming or slimmer look or slimming effect right yeah okay we're gonna take note of that so there that's and again so pointy fun. shoes that's the key mm -hmm. this one is this an hourglass body uh wait this one oh this is the bottom oh heavy. the bottom heavy. the big tush oh. Uh -oh, big tosh yeah this so also, one she I... can wear mga ito, this what you call parang pencil cut and then choose jackets that fall on the uh the widest part of the hip yeah and something that also cinches the waist so it creates an illusion that she's tall and she's an hourglass figure even if she's not right so it's all, all right. about, ano, it's like a conceal and reveal strategy for dressing. You conceal yes. which areas you feel is not your best asset. And then you reveal the parts which you think would help enhance the way you look. Oh, this okay. photo naman is, ano, 
this is for the big boobs again. This time it's evening, so she's in the party mode. So she can show a little skin. Right? So, yeah. V-neck siya. And then, all right, uh, the waist here is, they call this particular pattern raunching. So, if you have mga uh, puson, bilbil, area problems, the raunching will hide that. Oh, okay. It shows more of the bill bill and the puson when you're sitting down talaga. Mm. Diba? Yes. So when the problem talaga. is more visible. Diba? Lumalabas talaga eh. All right. And then again, her uh, her skirt is medyo flowy na pae, pae line. So again, it balances everything. Again, the, the, uh, the key here is to create an illusion of an hourglass figure. Okay. So that's our goal to get that hourglass that's look. our goal. Okay. Now let's have another photo. The hourglass it's, um, look. It's a working clothes for column, I believe. No? Is it column or? Yes, this is for column. Okay. So this is the one that doesn't have shape. It's shapeless all over. So here she can create, uh, she can choose pants or trousers with a lot of pockets i guess specifically dun sa ano tush area just to create that illusion that she has a tush <laughs> all right because it's flat all over yes. and then she can afford to wear tops with a lot of pockets also to create an illusion that she has mass mm -hmm, yes that's basically well, it yeah i noticed yeah. also that uh, her waist is accentuated more with this uh with this top uh -oh. Yeah, wearing... with the jacket. It's something that's... Yeah. Uh, and it's mm -mm, it cinches the waist. See, she can afford to wear light trousers. So, kasi nga, she's super thin. Eh. So, she mm. needs to build mass. That's why the the tush is lighter in color. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's have another one. It's a working clothes. Naman. Okay. This... It's a plus size, I believe. Oh, yes. Is this, this is for the heavy bottom. Mm -hmm. The heavy bottom. Oh, the heavy bottom. All right. All right. Yeah. The, again, naka flare din siya. And then darker tops. She matched uh, the dark bottom, the lower part, mm -hmm. with a darker top again. So, yes. again, the illusion there is to create a more slimming and elongating look. Yes, I also see that she's wearing kind of yeah, a V-neck so, blouse, so that also helps. V-neck, yes, because it creates an illusion. Yes, it creates mm -hmm. an il illusion that you have a longer neckline. Yeah, so it's all about lengthening the look. Because we don't want to look wide. We always want to look payat and tall, diba? That's the yeah. goal. That's why we work out. Yeah. Right? So, in photos, I don't want to look taba. You know, now, everybody, oh, uh -huh. yung pangit ko dyan sa photo. Don't show that, diba? Para, uh -huh. oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's social media life now. Yes. Oh, edit mo naman, mm -hmm. edit, change the lighting, filter everything, blah, blah. So, yeah, this is the party look. I like this. So, this is, I think this is also the bottom heavy. So now, what she did is she emphasized the upper area naman with, you know, showing more skin, oh, yeah. off shoulder, and then, yeah. And then the pattern of the skirt, if I'm not mistaken, it has parang vertical elongating lines. Eh. So, again, it creates a more lengthening look. Yeah. And then, again, di ba yung waistline niya pinaliit? So, when you look at it, she looks like she does have an hourglass figure, even if she doesn't. Yes, yes. That's how I look at it too, right? And it's okay to wear anything that's showing yeah. off the the, the uh, arms, the shoulders, I mean. Correct? Yes. Yes. Oh, uh -uh, yeah. Especially during the evening because it's party time. Naman. This is just a no-no if, for instance, you go to work because, syempre, they have, you know... Uh, Clothing rules at work. It yes. depends when you're working, working again, well. diba? Siyempre, you have to sure. consider that. If in an office, yes. Pero if you're like working in a salon, sa amin, wala namang coming rules in the salon unless the salon tells you that you have a uniform. But if not, yeah. you can look the way you want, then go. Except that, you know, you can't wear something that will show so much skin because, you know, the clients might say, might say that you're selling yourself and not a service anymore. Yeah, yeah. There's always, you know, 
a line, a thin there line, right? Balance. Okay. That's the right term. Okay, yes. Okay. So we have another one. Evening clothes naman. I believe this is hourglass. Ah, yeah. Mistaken. This is the hourglass. With the hourglass, <laughs> what's bagay with her is yung mga 1950s outfit because of her perfect, almost perfect figure. So that's why that's favorite the example that they gave. Yung parang Marilyn Monroe. Ako din. Favorite ko to eh. Yung ganyang style yeah, talaga. Yeah, it never Marilyn goes Monroe. out of... Yes. Uh -oh. it, ne it never goes outdated. If you can Marilyn. find something like that, Katrina, what's nice now is you can have it made there. Eh, diba? Customized. Customized, yes. So... Mm -mm. Alright. Mm -mm. So it's, ano, it's really according to your measurement. So mas perfect yung look. All right, so now we're done with that. Let's go to another photos. Okay, let's go here. We have one more. Yeah, so now that... Here. Okay, we have one more. Yes, we have one more. And then the, the celebrities later on. That's the finale. The celebrity photos. All right, so this is for yeah. the curvy plus plus. That This is the, for the plus plus extra this is what i was talking about earlier the plus plus size yes. so if you notice she has more structured clothes this is for i think this is the uh this is for work yeah so again if you look at her jacket it creates that v to create again that illusion of lengthening mm -hmm. below the knee all right. So she focused more on creating or wearing a darker shade on top yeah. para to make it more small, smaller, the, mm -hmm. the upper body. Okay. And then the lowest, the color of the skirt is just like her skin. Right? It looks like it's one. Yeah, yeah I noticed that. The shoes again yes. is elongating. Ah, this one's for the column. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. The pointy shoes. I saw another yes. picture. Column. Is that for the I think that's for the column. That's for the column, yes. Mm -hmm. Elongated yeah. again. All right. V -neck. Yeah, there. Yeah. It's party time. So, uh, party yeah, elongated time. V neck. And then, uh, we have another yeah, one. look at the waist area. It's hugging oh, yes. to create an illusion that she has waist again. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So nice. So, parang. Yeah. Parang ano talaga, hourglass figure yung yes, yes. body shape niya. Yeah. Grabe no, what clothes can do for you, how you can make clothes work for you if you choose the right cut. So that's the mm -hmm. secret, choosing the right cut for you. So, okay, so ladies, the first thing that you should do now, we have an assignment, me and Katrina, is to know your body type. And then, yes. ah, okay, this is the last, I think, for the body shape. So this is the hourglass. This is what I was yeah. talking about earlier. Uh, she's wearing pinstripes here. This is for work. So to create an elongating effect. And mm -hmm. she just uh, used a different color on the inside just to make the colors more pop. And again, mm -hmm. flare pants or flare trousers and uh, the pointy shoes it doesn't mean that yeah. it's pointy you should wear the six inch or seven eight no you can wear those kitten heels but it's not, not uncomfortable for you yes yes so again just like you mentioned that for all the ladies out there we have an assignment to do find out your body type that's the first ever that you, thing that you have to know before diving into okay buying clothes so before you hit the store <laughs> Yes, before, before, so you hit the store, before you even go to your yeah. smartphone nowadays, buying online is made, made easy or buying clothes is made easy now with, with smartphone or with the technology. So, mm -mm. yes, find out your perfect body type. Okay, let's have another photo here. It's another working clothes. It's another working clothes. Yes, I believe. Oh, I think we showed this already. Oh, we did already. We're done now. Oh, with yeah, this, this. is done. Uh, all right. Done and finally, this. we've got here. Uh, here we've got. I some the celebrities. Yes. This is okay. All right. This one deals with okay. Now that 
Yeah. Thank you, Katrina. Now that we know our body type, let's move into number two rule is knowing our style personality. So may style personality tayo when we choose our clothes. So you have to know that. Like this one, the first one, this is called the creative personality. Ito yung nagbo-border na siya sa ano, dressing like na parang medyo costumey. Yeah. Medyo dramatic yung dating niya. Like when she enters, kakaiba yung itsura niya. So she we buys have, mga yeah. vintage clothes, a lot of okay, characteristics, a lot of accessories. And then something different, she's into rummaging, you know, into different stores and buying things that you just, hard to find once. It doesn't really have to be expensive, but these are things that you really can't find anywhere. And then she matches it to her wardrobe that she already has. And she's also the type of person who doesn't throw away stuff because she knows that she will need it in any occasion that may come. And she's into dressing according not just to what she likes or love, but also according to her mood. So yan yung yeah. mga dramatic personalities. Ah, I mean, creative personalities. So examples of these are like Sina Kate Moss, Gwen Stefani. So I have it under there. Vivian Westwood. Right, and then see another this uh, character, this uh, celebrity, say Helena Bonham Carter. You see her a lot in mga period shows. Oh, she's in the Crown, the sister yeah. of uh, Queen Elizabeth. Oh, I think the Crown one okay. and two. Okay, I will check that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'll Edward Scissorhands. If if you've seen Edward Scissorhands. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Kach Katrina, I, I have that. to uh, no, I have to charge. I will have to remove my earpiece. Oh yeah. Go ahead. I think there's one more in the sure. Philippines. We have Tessa Prieto. I yeah. I can hear you. Yes, I oh, can yes, perfectly Tessa hear Prieto. you. Yeah, in the oh, Philippines. She's yeah. A very creative. Very outrageous outfits. That's really creative and unique, diba? Right? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Personality. Her, I met her in person one time. It's really yeah. a production. Yeah, <laughs> so I call a... it production dressing. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, it takes a lot of ano, ha? imagination, yeah. a lot of work. That's right. And it doesn't necessarily have to be expensive, but it's how you put things together. Mm -hmm. na they, parang they don't look that they match, and yet when they put it together, everything falls into place. Mm -mm. That's how I see it as well. Really nice, ano? Mm -hmm. Napakreative. And at the same time, it's still looking yeah. really um, fashion, fashionable. Yeah, fashionable. Mm -hmm. Not trapped in a time war. No, no. Not at all. Even if she may choose some vintage pieces. Yeah. Exactly. Let's go on to uh, another photo. That's Nicole Kidman. Very elegant. Yes, Nicole Look. Kidman. Okay. Yes. I, I, I call her, I don't know when she falls under the romantic personality dressing, type of dressing. So when we say yeah. romantic, I think these are the types who just like Nicole, the flowery dresses, very light fabrics that drapes onto her body, like, like mga silk, satin, linen, anything. And then a lot of flowery accessories also. So that's what we call the romantic. And then you may uh -huh. check out her purse, meron ding mga flowers and all that. She may wear a flower on her hair. That's a type of romantic uh, dresser she is. All right. Let's move on to, yes, Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is the classic dresser. Okay. Okay, this type of dresser she's into comfort for okay characteristic comfort and then she likes a uh, one tone color when she dresses mm -hmm. 
And then and she's the type change her hairstyle unless her hairstylist insists her to change because it's been like five years already. And mm-hmm. still her haircut is the same. And she mm-hmm. doesn't explore with makeup. Yeah. No. I think as a politician. <laughs> yes. They want yeah, to keep it very... Kasi, right? Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. that's true. All right, let's have another one. We've got here... Um, Julia Roberts. Okay, Julia Roberts falls onto, into the natural type of personality. This yeah. is the type of person who doesn't really yeah. care much about the way she looks. She's the wash and wear type of person. And she grabs clothes that are just comfortable. Parang fashion for her isn't that important. But she has to, you know, check out trends again. Because she has, if she doesn't like to shop, then she just has to add something new to her wardrobe just to spruce it up. And for her, wearing a scarf is just the main thing. You know, she just adds it on to whatever she's wearing to just give it a little panache. So that's how simple she really is. She's into the practical, comfortable way of dressing. Yes. Wearing makeup for her is, you know, she's just a minimalist. My sister mm-hmm. falls yes. under this, my my sister who is in the States. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, that's why they always say, now, oh, are you guys, when they meet us, no? they introduce us. Like, I would say, oh, my gosh, she's your sister. And she goes, yeah, because uh-huh. I don't dress up. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm the opposite. <laughs> She's the opposite, yeah. But that's I'm also okay, yeah. Yeah, that's also nice. I'm sorry. I mean, there are, there are also uh, women out there who likes to get, you know, to, to follow that kind of look. And that's also yeah. working huh, for them. Yes, it, it yes, really depends but... on you. Eh? I mean, one style, there's no thing as a wrong style. It's, yeah. It all depends on your personality, Katrina, when you think yeah. about it. And also your needs and your needs and also of course your budget those are the three yes. things mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. exactly number one is like what what do you do for for work or what do you do for for mm-hmm. life they buy your lifestyle you have to consider that is it working on your lifestyle or not so those are very important things to consider Definitely. yes uh i think the last one is uh victoria beckham yeah, she's the dramatic type of personality dresser. When I say dramatic, she's the ano, fashionista. And her uh, her life is really shopping and attending parties. She's the party girl and all the trends. She's more of a trendy dresser. Yeah, mm-hmm. so if you check her closet, she has all the new stuff. <laughs> and when she enters a party or a place, she has this wow factor. Mm-hmm. So that's her personality type. And she also uh, experiments with her makeup and with her hair all the time. So that's the dramatic type. There. Yes. yes. But I also know this with Victoria also, Beckham. Katrina. Very, um, how do you call this? Uh, like there's so many things that you want to know about her because she doesn't really smile so much a lot on photos. That's what I feel about it when, when I see her pictures, for example. Yeah, but that's why they diba? came up with they came up with this term. It's called bitch face. Have you heard uh-huh. that term? Yeah, yes, it's yes. a term that they use to parang, you look so na nakaganyan. Parang bang you're sad hindi naman. you're mad. Oo, tapos hindi naman. Siguro baka she yeah. looks prettier when she's not smiling. I think so. That's, I don't know. There are, some, it... there are probably some women who feel that they look prettier without smiling. There are some women who, who like, who looks prettier when they smile, diba? So mm-hmm, yeah. I guess it depends on that or probably her publisher or her manager told her, hey, don't smile na lang kasi you also look mysterious, you look prettier or something. Yeah, yeah. Right? Maybe ha, probably, that's her. Yeah. Yeah, that's her probably part the of her brand. Way of marketing her, right? Yeah, overall look. Yeah, overall image. Yes. Image. Okay, yeah. so Katrina, now I have a question, Aman, to you. Oh, yes. What do you think is your style personality? My style personality. I'm not like flamboyant person, 
who you know really likes to show off colors um i would say i'm in between classical and natural like a regular look something i can play around that that's how i would like to pursue my if i would start building my appearance and my look mm -hmm. i would go for that area something more yeah well i'm glad yes i think so. Here. so now yes, you don't yes. know what to yeah what to focus in when you do your shopping right yes exactly and i would like to go for those um you know monochromatic natural natural mm -hmm. shades when buying clothes something that i can you know wear even if it's like 10 years already it's still in in the fashion trends so yes, yes something that i'm also very com uh, i'll be comfortable to wear that yes. would be so really it's nice practical investing yes practical yeah. investing in your wardrobe that's why you know the list that i gave you the essentials that's what's gonna make that's what you're gonna create when you in your in your yes what do you call it? in your yeah in your cabinet it's like a mm -hmm. capsule wardrobe thing so if you can just mix and match everything there you're complete yes so you can it's just, a checklist you know it's a checklist so you can just accessorize or change your shoes and bags so it's up to you so at least yes. you have everything all together the complete ingredients it's like cooking all the ingredients are all there it's up to you what you want to create create out of it yes all right no worries guys uh, or ladies uh, we're gonna make a cheat sheet for you of all these essentials that you have to have in your closet so we're going to break this down on our Facebook page. Go and check out. Feel free to join. It's it's for everyone, all right? For all aspiring women, women entrepreneurs or men entrepreneurs, go check mm -hmm. out that group. We're going to work together and collaborate in that group, okay? All right. So I think we're um yes, we're a little bit more we're over over, over time. <laughs> yes, but that's great the uh, Great, Dara, because that means we are enjoying and having fun while we're doing this live stream. And we want to thank mm -hmm. you, all our viewers, for sticking with us all throughout this episode. Um, next week, we're going to come up with another one. So tune in, all right? Okay. But before I let you go, I just, I'm just i just so thrilled to announce that uh, my ebook is... Um, finally complete all right it's uh mm -hmm. it's complete and ready for download it's entitled how to uh, um yes build your home business the right way how to benefit from the biggest business launch for filipinos in the philippines and abroad so get your copy on the link below and let me know what you learned from my ebook okay all right would you like to uh, add uh, anything else, uh, Dara, before we finally end the live stream? Yeah, so, okay, ladies, since you know now the rules about choosing the right clothes for you, there is no excuse to have a slob day, Katrina. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's for me. Uh, it's really for me. Yeah, so you can always look your best. So... If you have any questions, do send us a message on Pinoy Real. You can comment there again. And uh, I'm looking forward to another episode of this series. And I already have an idea, Katrina, if you approve of it too. Yes, yes. Uh, let's talk about accessorizing. The right accessories oh, for you. Choosing the right shoes that goes with your outfit. The right bag and the right accessories whether it's simple or chunky yes. so stay tuned next week that's interesting because it's hard to accessorize yeah. if you don't know how to do it right that's very interesting and that does that also include jewelries yes it includes yeah. jewelry shoes and bags okay great yeah, those three so it's something nice to look forward to definitely and that's for next week guys so Keep, keep on tuning in. Do we in. have a change uh, schedule yet, Katrina? Um, next week, yes, we will have, starting next week, we're going to have uh, our live stream with Dara on Friday. But we will announce right. that. And what time 
mm -hmm. is? It will be the same time, 10 o'clock okay. uh, in the morning, Central European Standard Time, and 4 o'clock in the afternoon, that's Philippine Standard Time. So we will notify you guys. We will going to post in advance our next live stream. So you'll not miss out anything, okay? Walang may iwan. Just go and check that link, all right? So, guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking with us. May you have a blessed weekend. Yeah. Enjoy your weekend with your loved ones and family. Thank you once more, uh, our very good friend, Dara, uh, for sharing with us always. It's always her expertise in beauty and fashion. We want to thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, see you next week and have a wonderful, fruitful weekend. Bye, Bye everyone.